Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. Okay, it's the middle of the night. Let us go to bed. Ooh. So I put the clock on the wall here. Next to my bed. And let's go peek outside because there's some changes. Uh, yeah, so. Hello, horsey. Don't have a name tag for the horse yet, but. Uh, bamboo. I planted bamboo on the hillside here. I think it looks really neat. There's a lot of it. I planted this bamboo to sort of test it and see. I don't have my axe, but I think I can break it with this, right? Yeah, they just all fall down. Um, just to see how this thing grows and regrows. It's this is still age one. I guess every time it grows, there's a chance that the age increases. I don't know, and that sort of controls how tall it grows. Yeah, so I got my little path to the tunnel out to the world, and I've been growing stuff. Oh, we got, uh, I planted, the watermelons I found over in the jungle. So I've got watermelons growing. I've got pumpkins growing. We've got trees, carrots, potatoes, and wheat, sugarcane, bamboo. Think about the bamboo. I didn't realize because I've never played with uh, bamboo before. You need string to uh, to make scaffolding, and I don't have any string. I don't, I've not really, uh, not really fought a lot of mobs. I haven't come across a spider spawner. I haven't really gone through much of anything. So, yeah, so that's a, that's a little, a little annoying. Oops. So, let us grab some stuff here because I think it is time to try something. Um, I'm going to grab a few things that I wouldn't necessarily carry with me. Um, I should definitely have blocks. I need blocks. Uh, yeah, a shovel would be a good thing to have. I can put you in here because I don't need you at the moment. And then um, I have... Food. I need torches. I should make some more torches. I need to label my chest. Oh, definitely want to bring this. And I have here obsidian and a flint and steel. Okay, so let's grab some of this. Uh, I don't know what. Let's grab some of this charcoal since I have more charcoal than I have coal. And we have sticks here. Yeah. And let's make a bunch of torches. Bloop. Put the sticks back away. Let's put them over here, please. And line up the torches. Okay. Oh, that's right. I added rooms. So this room is the enchanting room. And uh, I have a full set of bookshelves, so I can get some enchants there. And I have some, I uh, like you know, sharpness. I'm breaking whatever on some of my stuff. Um, I snagged a brewing stand from one of the villages. Actually, I have two brewing stands, but I don't have another wart. Uh, hi. And then I dug back here. And just I've been expanding the base back, and uh, I have an empty room here. And the empty room, I think, I am planning on doing uh, this too. Let's see here. So that is why I have the obsidian. Because I think it's time that we go to the nether. And let's see here. And I think I hope I have I have enough here, right? 
This is an oversized portal. Yeah, and then I have enough obsidian to get back home. Very important. And light it. Woo! I have another portal room. Did I close the door? No, I just got stuck on the door frame. So I'm bringing the flint and steel and the obsidian in case I need to build a portal to get back home. I should bring a compass just in case I end up coming back into the overworld in a different place from where I entered. Um, oh, I can remake snow blocks out of these snowballs. Um, and then anything else I need in the nether? Be nice to have some potions, but I don't have any nether wart and I don't have a bow. Obviously, I don't need a bed. And I have a sword, axe, pickaxe, torches. I have a spare bucket in case I need to pick up some lava. I have food. I have blocks. Some additional blocks might be good. Just to be safe. Actually, a lot of additional blocks might. Be. Oh, wait. No, no, not, not this stuff. Not this stuff. Get the cobbled stuff. Yeah. Just in case I need to build a little safe house in the nether. Uh, so mostly I just wanted to sort of see what the situation on the other side of the portal at the nether is. May come right back through. Best case scenario is I can see a fortress nearby. I can wander in just enough in order to get some nether ward uh, and maybe some additional and some blaze rods. So here we go. Very nervous. Okay. Oh, this isn't horrible. This is not horrible at all. It's on fire. And there's some quartz right here. Okay. Lots of quartz. Okay, this isn't bad. A lot of glowstone over there. No obvious fortress right away, but it's okay. I'm gonna light up guy here and I'm gonna reinforce this a little bit oh interesting okay we're not gonna explore too much I did maybe lay down some blocks here to reinforce this uh, platform a little bit because that's a bit that's a bit scary that's a big drop okay I'm gonna collect some uh Hi, Mr. Piggy. Ooh, where'd they come from? Hi, I'm wearing a gold helmet, so you shouldn't be upset at me, right? Good. I don't know how all the piglin mechanics work. Okay, I can get down here. Okay, not bad. Um, hi, I'm not stealing your stuff yet. When I come up here, I'm going to get some quartz because quartz could be helpful. It's very helpful. Just don't hit the pigs. And a good source of XP is... Jeez, dude. Careful. And with the quartz, I can make comparators. So I can start doing redstone. I hear a uh, ghast. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mm -hmm. He sounds like he's coming over, he's over there. And it could be above or below. All kinds of variables here. It's farther. Let me, just to make things more visible, let me light some stuff up. I also want this place to show up when I'm away. So I can find my way back easily. I think there's 
spawning issues here. Wouldn't mind some glowstone as well, but it's less critical than getting a little bit of quartz. Mushrooms. Six mushrooms. It's another one I haven't seen. Hi. I'm okay. sounds in the nether are kind of creepy now. So they always were to some extent, but... Okay, so what? Uh, I don't... Oh, that's right. I brought this. Oops. Not that it's going to help a whole lot. It's not a lot to see. because I don't want to accidentally fall in a hole if I have to run away from something. <laughs> okay. I want some more cord. Let me, I'm just going to do some basic cord stuff. I'm not going to go explore too far, I don't think. Oh, and I'm up to 30 levels, so I could go back home and do some more enchanting. See if I can get... Oh, oh, good. Good vein. the hole. Uh, sure, we'll grab this as well. Another good vein. Probably not super well equipped to be dealing with another right now. I should probably spend a little more time caving, fighting some mobs, getting a bow, and uh, cultivating some villagers, maybe. But, uh, like a fortune pick would be really nice. I mean, that's not a bad amount of quartz, but... Hello. How high? We seem like we're pretty high up. Whoops. 99. We're not too, oh, we're not too far. Oh, there's the gas. Okay. So. Let's see here. West, east, north. What well, it seems like would be the best way to go. Because right, I can come down here. Not, not that way. Not that way. So it seems like maybe over this way. East. Climb down and 
wander over that way a little bit. Let's do that. So I'm going to put... So I'm going to put... I'm going to put some torches down and some little waypoints. And that, if I can see the torch on the side, I'm heading towards home. Or in this case, the nether portal. Okay. Oh. Oh, so this, uh... Yeah. Okay. And I'm doing it with the, the cobble. That sounds like somebody took damage. Everyone okay? They have biomes in the nether now, don't they? So this is nether wastes. That seems appropriate. Be careful. Trail of torches. more waypoints. Pointing the way home. Oh, what I did not do. That's right, I forgot. I don't really eat the whole Picklin mechanics thing. I haven't really played with it. So, gold trading. Should have brought some gold. Uh, trade with these guys. I'll have to read up on that a little bit. Avoid the lava. I don't want to get caught on fire. I think, for the most part, if I don't mess with these guys, they shouldn't mess with me. Glad I brought plenty of torches. What is that? Um, let's make another waypoint here. Soul sand. I should probably grab some of the soul sand. Oh, red mushrooms. So it looks like bones. So it looks like uh bones. Uh like the the little fossil sort of things that you can get in um in the overworld. Okay, I'm gonna leave this gold alone. I, I'm wearing a gold helmet specifically to mollify the piglins. But Shovel's the better choice for this, right? Yeah. Um, but I don't know what extent, like, if I start taking their gold, they might get upset with me. I don't know. What is this stuff? This is... Soul Soil. So it's different for Soul Sand. I don't know what it's good for. I'll grab some. Oh, there's some blue. Whoa, shoot. Do I fight the skeleton? Oh, shoot. Move, move, move. 
I hit things back at Okay, I feel like I'm in a bad spot here, stuck between a ghast and a, and a skeleton, and I don't feel equipped to really deal with either, so. And I kind of lost my way. Walked by this. That gets over this way. Ah. Boss, let's see here. I'm at 100 blocks. I need negative ass. Over that way. Hey guys. Okay, so my waypoint here is pointing me that way. I screwed this up already, didn't I? I put them too far apart. So, I should have another waypoint here. Obviously not here. This looks like my trail, uh, but I could have put these down. Okay, it looks like my trail of torches. Goes up over, oh, there it is, okay. Let's put another one right here. Got me in trouble. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. okay, let's try not to do that again. Eat. Okay, well, I'm I'm willing to call that a successful nether adventure. Let's go back and drop off stuff. And I put this inside a door because the piglin guy. I could probably take him. Okay, so let's go stash some stuff here. I got some quartz, which is nice. So let's go put the quartz over here. Um, some glowstone dust. I should probably start a, like a little redstone box. Okay, so the mushrooms, I have food, oops. I've got a food stuff here, plant food stuff here. So <clears throat> let's go put the mushrooms here. 
And soul sand. I don't know. I'm going to put this in here for now. Another rack. So I should make a little nether thing. And then the obsidian, I had that in here. Okay. I will accept that as a good first nether trip. Where'd my pink guy go? Go back in. Okay. Good. So... Bucket. I don't really need this. Okay. I will spend more time in the nether, obviously, but I got, got in and out safely. I know what the situation looks like a little bit. And I can start uh, planning another nether network. Well, let's go check on the cows. Since I now have 30 levels, I may as well burn a couple on another book. And let's go over here and check on the cows at Barb Makes Things Place. Am I right now, kitty? I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, there's a there's a few cows in here. Let's make some more. Some of the chickens got out. I accidentally opened up the gate. There we go. Okay, so. Sorry, guys. Okay, good. I can eat. Let's see if we can make it out. Got more eggs. Let's see if we can make some more chickens. Couple. Not bad. Okay. Excellent. grew funny on that guy okay well that was kind of the main part of what I wanted to get done I had another I've been doing a lot of mining just because it's nice to get kind of background task a nice Zen activity so we have leather let's throw the steak in the cooker let's grab some Paper. I have paper here somewhere. Paper. I have some books. Let's grab some lapis. Let's make a few more books. Um, let's make five more books. I should save some of the leather to make signs and such. Oh, I'm actually, I have a ton of leather. Okay, that's cool. Let's see what we can do with chanting. Let's put a book in the slot. Protection three. That could be useful. Okay. 
Then we're down to 28 levels. Sharp protection. I'm breaking. See, it'd be nice to get more. I'm breaking three books. I have some books right here. I have some books. Protection three. So I have unbreaking two. So I have a protection three, protection three. So I could combine those. Unbreaking three. That's all good. And then I've got some lesser books, right? Some Unbreaking. Oops. Unbreaking two, knockback one, protection one. Okay. I've got books in here too. So. Okay. I need to label these things. It's ridiculous. All my valuables are in here, so that's where the lapis goes. Paper. It's like all the sugar cane stuff should be in here. This is animal drops. Including more steak. And I've got enough. I got enough steak. I can start to. I might be able to switch over to eating steaks. Okay. So, another portal accomplished. And build light, enter another portal. Nice. So I got an accomplishment for that. Um, yeah, so and I have my little snow guy here. I should probably make a room for him, too. Be nice to get him out of the way. I kind of constrained myself a little bit with building like this. So I should come up with some way of... Like, I could build down a little bit here, build the second level. So I've got stairs here that go down to the mining area. I could come down here and... Like floor, ceiling. I could make a little uh, here and make a whole nother level. Because these are the walls and ceilings and floors here all lined with snow blocks. Just because I thought I'd try. We're in a cold area. It seems kind of funny. And it's a nice looking block. And I'm trying to hide torches as much as possible, right? So I've got them up along here. So I don't want torches spammed all over the floor. And honestly, I don't need a torch there, do I? Oh yeah, we're we're totally fine. Okay. All right. That was a quickie little stream. I just wanted to head into the nether, see what we could find, and Oops. huh? Yeah, I just wanted to head into the nether, see what we could find and uh, get back out and then figure out how I'm going to upgrade this place. This is not supposed to be a long-term base for me. Um, so that's uh, I'm gonna sleep here. So I don't want to put too much effort into this, but I think it's going to be a little bit before I find where we're going ultimately. Um, I know where it is. So if I do three. So if I do one, two, three, four, five, six. Go down. Make sure I have at least five here. So here's the floor. So then, wait, 
So you don't want that to be the floor of the one above. So, sorry, let me work this out. That's the between floors. So this is upper ceiling, lower ceiling, then one, two, three down, right? Upper ceiling, one, two, one, two, three, oh, no, I have four. So that's the in-between layer, interlayer, upper ceiling, lower ceiling, one, two, three, and then that's the floor, right? And that's the floor. So if I go in here, I can make this second level. And this could be, this is the wall between, then this is my inner wall. And then I could start digging out here. Oops. Okay. And yes, I've been working with stone tools, stone uh, pickaxes, because they're basically free. Go chop down trees, and they drop sticks. Um, so I get all the sticks I need, and then... Uh, and then... Just through mining, I got plenty of uh, cobble deep slate, which is craftable the same way the cobblestone is. Oh. Huh. Interesting. So I wonder if this is not going to grow any higher because it's got its full leaves up there. Anyway. So for mining, I've been using the uh, stone tools. They don't last super long, but... They're free, so I can make a bunch of them. I don't have to put any wear on my pick because I don't have mending on anything yet. So I find, a, like, get a mending villager so I can put mending on my tools and develop some sort of an XP farm because right now I have to go mining and kill things for XP. Uh, I haven't found a, a spawner anywhere yet. So right through the nether, mining quartz is probably a fairly productive way to up my, my XP levels. But it'd be nice to get a little a mob farm of some sort so I can get drops, gunpowder especially. Um, string would be nice. I guess the other reason to go cultivate a village somewhere would be that villager so I can get like you know a Fletcher to get bows and arrows uh, toolsmith weaponsmith so I can get diamond diamond gear without having to spend the diamonds that I'm mining So see, this is nice. This is why I like growing giant spruce trees because they, a lot of logs. And look, I got two sticks out of that already and there will be more to come, I'm sure. So now we just need the saplings we grow and I have plenty of spares here. So if we don't get four out of this one, it's no big deal. And I could start making shears and shearing the leaves because the leaves compost pretty well. And that would give me bone meal. Two saplings.
Hey, doggy. Five saplings. Okay, we are ready to regrow. There we go. And, and of course, we got plenty of logs out of all that so I can make more charcoal I can craft those into in the sticks so there we go all right well I think I'm gonna end the stream there thank you for watching um, and uh, I do this irregularly I don't have a schedule so um, I will get on when I can and when I have time and it's quiet and I have a project to work on. So anyway, here we go. Thank you.